dire wolves have been extinct. Once they ruled the ancient Americas, beasts of shadow, strength and survival. For 10,000 years, the dire wolf has been a ghost until now. The howl of a dire wolf hasn't been heard on planet Earth for more than 10,000 years. Over 10,000 years ago, amidst the sprawling plains and dense forests of North and South America, roamed a formidable predator, the dire wolf. Larger and more robust than today's grey wolves, dire wolves were apex predators of their time. But what led to their extinction and how have modern scientists achieved the unthinkable? Approximately 12,500 years ago, as the Pleistocene epoch waned, the world underwent significant climatic shifts. Rising temperatures led to the melting of glaciers and the transformation of ecosystems. Many of the dire wolf's prey species dwindled or disappeared. Additionally, the arrival of human hunters introduced new competition. These combined pressures led to the dire wolf's extinction. Thousands of dire wolf fossils were discovered, especially in California's La Brea Tar Pits. For decades, scientists assumed they were just big grey wolves. Then came a twist. DNA analysis revealed dire wolves weren't wolves at all. They were an entirely different genus. Fast forward to the 21st century, where science and ambition converge. Colossal Biosciences, a pioneering genetic engineering company, embarked on a mission to bring back the dire wolf. By analyzing DNA from ancient dire wolf remains, scientists identified key genetic traits that defined the species. Utilizing advanced gene editing techniques, researchers introduced 20 specific edits across 14 genes into the genome of grey wolves, aiming to recreate the physical and behavioural characteristics of dire wolves. We didn't know how big these embryos would grow and wanted to make sure that the surrogate was healthy, so we picked large dogs. The result? The birth of three pups, Romulus, Remus and Khaleesi, heralding a new era in de-extinction science. Today, Romulus, Remus and Khaleesi reside in a secure 2,000-acre ecological preserve. Romulus and Remus, named after the Roman mythological twin brothers who were raised by a wolf, were born on October 1st, 2024. And in January, they were joined by a younger sister that the colossal team named Khaleesi. Their existence offers a glimpse into a past era and sparks discussions about the future of conservation, de-extinction and humanity's role in shaping the natural world. The story of the dire wolf is one of rise, fall and rebirth. It challenges us to reflect on our past actions, understand the delicate balance of ecosystems and ponder the possibilities that science holds for the future. It reminds us that extinction is not always the end, and that in the silence of vanished species, there still may be breath. Romulus, Remus, Khaleesi, they are not just animals. They are a new chapter in an old story, and the first howl of a future we're only beginning to write. At Earth's Guardians, we believe stories like this aren't just about the past. They're about what we choose to protect today. If this journey moved you, if the howls of ancient creatures still echo in your heart, help us keep telling their stories. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe, support our mission by donating to our cause. Together we are Earth's guardians.